Okay, we have stopped for a break. I am going to do some sautéed vegetables. This is part of a collab with Valerie Rees, Women's Station Channel, and Tanya Lambert. They're going to be linked below. I'm going to sauté some zucchini here in the bin on my mini griddle and cook some steak pieces to go with it. I'm cooking this on a mini griddle. It takes 550 watts. The van has two 100 amp hour batteries and a 1500 watt inverter on solar. We have a 100 watt Renogy solar panel on the roof. I like to cook during the day or at least later in the day so the batteries will have time to recharge just in case I want to run either the heat or the air conditioner at night. So for the recipe, what you're going to need is zucchini cut thin. I had some left from my last salad and that's why I'm using it. Teriyaki sauce, some meat. I had some left from a little steak that I had and I reused my containers. I promise this is not mushrooms. It is red meat left from a steak. Okay. You're gonna need a silicone spatula. You're cooking it in stages, so you're gonna need a small plate. Sesame seeds, butter, and let's get started. First thing to do is to plug up your mini griddle. You're going to want to put it on a plate because this can generate some liquid that you're not going to want all over your counter. It is warming up. I'm going to go ahead and do the seeds at this point so they can be toasting. I like a lot, so we'll put a fair amount in there. And we'll give them a minute to toast. While we're doing that, I'm going to double check all my other ingredients and make sure they're all ready to go. The steak is cut up into small pieces and the zucchini is cut into small pieces. So sesame seeds here, if you've never cooked them, they're ready when they have a light tan color and they give off a delicious kind of tantalizing nutty aroma. It only takes these a minute or so to toast and they should be done now. Oh yes, they are. I'm just going to go ahead and dump those onto the little plate. Now I'm going to add my little touch of butter. And I'm going to cook the meat next. And the butter is just to help it not stick to the griddle. And this is part of a collab. It's actually a vegetable collab, but since I had the steak, I'm adding it. But do check out Valerie Women's Station Channel and Tanya Lambert, link below. I think you're going to like what they're doing, too. At this point, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of the teriyaki seasoning on here. Let me turn this so you can see it. This does cook on both sides, so it typically doesn't take as long for the meat to get done. Oh yeah, getting close. I'm going to let this go until the light turns back on. This has gone through another cycle. We're going to check it. These look like they are done. So I'm going to remove these. Okay, these may not be quite as done as I, I like. My husband would love them at this point though. Since there's so much liquid, I am going to remove some of this with a paper towel. And I'm going to put the meat back in for just a minute. Now is a great time to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And don't forget to give me a like on the video. It smells really, really good. Sprinkle a little more teriyaki on it. And we'll keep it another cycle. There is a lot that you can cook in this mini griddle. And people are just amazed when I tell them what all I cook in here. So far, I have done chicken lettuce wraps, eggs, bacon, quesadillas, pancakes, grilled cheese, steak, steak tips, and zucchini, bologna, ham, a small burger. And I forgot what else. But I'm open for ideas, so anything you want to drop down in the comments and suggest would be great. 
And if you want to see videos on any of those things that I just mentioned, let me know. Okay, now it's time to do some zucchini. I'm just going to put these in basically a single layer right here on the mini griddle. We'll give it a full cycle too. So I like the zucchini to be crisp, tender, so it's not going to take long. That's why I cook the meat first. When you cook on both sides, like you do with a mini griddle, whether you're in the van or at home or in a hotel, because it's on both sides, it doesn't take as long to cook, especially when you're talking about vegetables. Now, if it wasn't meeting on the top and the bottom, let's just say you're cooking something very, very thin like crepes, which is only on the bottom, then you'll need to leave it close to the regular time. With both sides cooking, it doesn't take nearly as long. This is, this is done to my standards. Look how tender that is. And so it, it's nice and brown on the bottom. It's just where it is set in the teriyaki sauce. So I'm going to put a little bit more of the zucchini in here. After I get this up. Oh my gosh. You all, this smells delicious. It's teriyaki, zucchini, steak, butter, sesame seeds. All that yummy stuff see what happens if I put this two layers. Usually I don't. I'm just going to try it this time and hopefully you won't get in too much trouble. And we'll let it go a cycle. While this is cooking, I'm going to take this and I'm going to stir it up and mix in the seeds. A little bit more flavor. So I really like traveling with zucchini because if you don't have refrigeration, it can stay out for a couple of days. I'll give this just another minute and be back. There you go. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, this, this smells great. So I'm going to give this a oh, minute, the mini griddle, just a minute to cool off. That way I can wipe it out. And you can't put it in water, but you can wipe it out uh, with a cloth. So I usually start with a paper towel to get the liquid up and then a cloth to clean it and then I'll go over it with a Clorox wipe before I really wash it. You all don't need to see that. You know how to wash things. Okay, so here's my big plate of vegetables with a little bit of steak thrown in. I guess I've got about, what, five pieces in there? Mm. That is so good. It's tender, it's flavorful, it's crisp tender, perfect for me. The sesame seeds help give it a little bit of flavor. Teriyaki sauce definitely gives it more flavor. I really can't taste the butter that I started with, but that's okay because that was just to keep it from sticking. I don't always use butter because the mini griddle is non-stick, but sometimes I will just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and finish my lunch and dessert, and by that time, probably going to be time to pull out the bed and somebody has already gone to sleep a little while ago while I was doing this video so I'll probably have to take him out first. Thank you for watching. Again this is a collab so check out the other ladies channels. I'm going to link those below. Make sure you click the like button and subscribe and check out the videos that are popping up on the end screen. One of them YouTube has picked as something that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! <laughs>